Hello everyone, in this video I will explain you how to construct tangent to the circle. So the very first thing that we need to understand is what is tangent. Tangent is any line which touches the circle at a single point. And we have very important property that we need to understand before going through the problem that is about the radius and the tangent. The property is whenever the tangent and the radius meet it makes an angle 90 degree so the uh, tangent and the radius will be always perpendicular to each other means it will be always forming 90 degree so now let us start with the problem so let me read the question now draw a circle of radius 6 cm from the point from a point 10 cm away from its center construct the pair of tangent to the circle and measure their length so the per first part of the questions says that you need to draw a circle of radius 6 cm so mark a point o in your page and draw a circle of radius 6 cm So now let us mark a point P which is 10 cm away from the center of the circle. So center of the circle is O. From here you need to measure 10 cm in your scale and uh, mark a point away from the center of the circle. You can mark the point 10 cm away from the center at any uh, direction. So you can take it here, 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 wherever you want. I am going to take on the right side. So now let us start uh, with the steps to draw the tangent. So the first step is to join the point PO and then bisect it. So here is the two points O and P. We need to join this first and then we need to draw the bisector for this line. And once you have drawn the perpendicular bisector, we will get the midpoint of the line OP. So now we need to draw the perpendicular bisector so you need to keep your compass at point O and you need to measure more than half of the distance of OP. Why I am telling you this because if you are going to take half or less than half of the distance of OP uh, of the line uh, for which you want to draw the perpendicular bisector then you, the line uh, the arcs will not be intersecting. So if you want the arc to be intersecting and if you want the uh, intersection point of the arc then you need to always take the measurement more than half. So take uh, more than half of OP and keep your uh, compass at point O. Draw an arc up above the line OP and one below the line OP. So now without altering the distance in your compass, keep your compass at point P and draw an arc, arc above the line and one below the line and these two arcs should be intersecting with the previous arcs that you have drawn. Now join these two intersection points of the arcs that you have drawn and get the perpendicular bisector of the line OP which divides the line OP into two equal halves. Now let us mark this intersection point as Q. Now taking Q as a center uh, and OQ or QP as a radius draw a circle which intersects this circle at two points. This pink color circle is the circle which we have used to draw the tangent to the original circle which have been given in the question. So do not get confused with this circle and this the question uh, 
the circle whatever they have given in the question that is your original circle and you need to draw the tangent to that circle now, let us mark this intersection point of the circle given and the imaginary circle as a and this point as b now the next step is to join the points ap and bp So now let us measure the length of the tangents because it is mentioned in the question that we need to measure the length of the tangent. So a, let us measure the distance between AP and BP. So the measurement of the line AP and BP we have found it as 8 cm and always whenever you are drawing the tangent from any external point then the length of the tangents will be always equal you will not get any different value for this so ap and bp are the required tangents so that's it for now in the next video i will teach you how to draw tangent for the concentric circles and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon.